In this video, I will be creating and showing you how to create a website using Lovable. So it's a new no-code tool that you can create basically websites like this. I just spent a few minutes playing around with this, trying to create it. I've used some Bentagrid uh, layouts, uh, some cards that I've taken from my files. And then I just uploaded them to Lovable and said, create a website that will be modern with a gradient in the background basically just created this option for me that is already optimized for mobile i will try to do it again but this time i will give it a reference of a website that i like and uh, one of the websites that i just saw on landbook is was this i like the colors here the backgrounds so i'm going to take a picture of this template maybe a screenshot upload it to lovable and see if it cre can create something similar if it can then my career as a web designer is officially over because i've been designing actually for the past 10 years i've been doing it in my figma as my main job doing uh, ui designs websites landing pages so all kind of websites and um, now i will see if ai can do a better job than i do so i'm going to open inspect tools and try to export the image try to make a copy of it and put it into a framer now I'm just going to delete a few sections because I don't really need all of them. So I'm just going to remove like this section and uh, maybe this is not needed as well. Maybe just a few sections so we can try and see if it's going to create anything at all. Maybe like footer as well we can keep and maybe, yeah, so something like this with a five section would be sufficient the text is not really readable so i'm not sure if it's going to create something that does make sense but we're going to try so now i'm just going to export it as a chip peg and name it something like random letters because i have too many files on my computer i don't want to spend time to remove the duplicates and now i can just go to the lovable and just upload the image and no nothing complicated just saying create a website like this and see what it does so i just upload the image and see if it can create something like this click public and while it creates i think i need some images to put in here because it will not be able to create i'm sure so what i'm going to do is go here and try to select something from this uh, gallery that I have here probably one of the websites that I wanted to do it was called uh, briefly they had some cards that I can copy I believe brief yeah briefly so I'm just gonna open it and take some cards that I can copy for my website here section probably something like this just a random element that I can put in there while we wait for this section to be created so i'm going to go here and uh, i'm just going to paste it remove the stroke and remove this image from the background also remove the background itself and as you can see right now it looks a little bit dark and not very colorful as i want it to be so the easy thing to do is just add something to the background i'm just going to explain to you the process how would i do that and then um make obviously the background dark itself move it to the dark and now we can go here and try to put this into a different blend mode so it will look much better than the original version what i can do here is try to put it into the um darken option and then maybe change this to another oh not that one the appearance and then the blending mode see something that yeah and right now it looks a little bit better i can just crop everything correctly uh, remove the stroke here at the top and obviously if i can take this picture from the background that would be much better so let's let me try to do that actually while it creates so what i'm going to do is go to this website open it in a new tab this is just a random webflow template not affiliated with it in any how but let me just preview it in the browser and uh, copy try to copy just this background 
I think it shouldn't be that hard. But also, I'm not a developer. I, I don't know like at all anything about development and stuff. So these things are pretty new to me. If you're a developer, you probably already see how to export this picture. I don't really see that. So let me just go to sources here and try to find it in here. Because if I can export this image, then it would be much simpler for me to actually and um, go ahead and try to make it in similar style. So I think it's just having the pictures of the set. Okay, something like this. Now I can copy it or copy image URL or save image as. Open image in the new tab. Yeah, that's what I want. And now I can just copy the image itself. And instead of this background, I could just put this background. And I have this nice card that I can upload to my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it. And then I'm going to make the rounded corners. Create a frame around this and clip the content. So if I right now do the rounded corners, let's say 35 pixels, it's going to round the corners around the image itself. Let's make it a little bit centered. So from each side, I wanted to make the same spacing and now I can export it. And once I export it, I can upload it hopefully to Lovable. Of course, it should be PNG, not JPEG. And preferably it should be 2x sizing so the image doesn't look blurred in here. I'm just going to name Bento card. Let's go to Webflow to Lovable and see if it created something. So yeah, the result is here. It looks similar but not the same. It created some kind of even cards which is cool. Yeah, so what I can do here is try to ask it to add some gradients change the font because i think this is the font let me actually see what font it is i think this is poppins but i'm not totally sure so what, i'm just going to click what the font yeah i'm not sure what the font it is so let's just exit it and ask change the fonts to poppins and add gradient to the font also, okay, let me see if I can actually update the image. It created literally dashboard in here, editable dashboard. I can put my own information here. So if I were to doing some kind of dashboard business, I can put add that in here. So let me just actually change the font. Also, upload this, this image to the here section instead of current dashboard. So I can just, ah, oh shit, I didn't send the image. Okay, let me just. Uh, yeah, I don't think it will be able to change the image since I haven't sent that. But for this cars, I don't really like this in here. It's, um, it would not be very easy to customize to my needs and it's just numbers. So what I'm going to do is add some uh, cards from Bento card website collection. So I'm just going to type Bento here in the search bar. By the way, these cards I took from UI8 website. They're not sponsored and these cards are probably paid. So I'm just going to tell you where I got them. But if you want, you can go here and take them. But I don't have any sponsor links or something like that. I just downloaded a few, few years ago. So let me just grab it from there and uh, I'll change the font of opens, add a gradient text and update the hero section with your image instead of the dashboard preview. But I haven't sent the image yet. <laughs> okay, let's just put that in there. And uh, I have 11% on my, of my battery and I hope I can create a website that looks good in that time. Probably it's like 10 minutes I have until my laptop dies. I hope I can create that before that. So I'm just gonna take any random card that I like, like this, for example. And I'm just gonna basically uh, put it, change it. I change its colors to dark. That's That would be the first step. Then I can export it separately. So I have two cards from one. Okay, it changed the color back. So I just 
use dark and export it. PNG double size and try to export it here. Name it one, two, three, because I have too many. Okay, so here is the image. Here is the image for your section. While it's going to update the image, financial dashboard. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. We have some logos here. We have the gradient on the text. I didn't specify which gradient to create, but it took the like nice looking gradient and it already up updated it. What I can do right now is try to put some images in here. Uh, or, or their cards in the second section. Use the images I provided right now. I'm just gonna send it a few images that I like. Maybe we take one of these, just make it dark. Also, I'm gonna uh, make it two images instead of just one. It's gonna export it. Again, it's cr it created it in white colors. So what I'm going to do is just change it to dark colors and remove all the unnecessary elements that I have here. But you know, let me just make it dark so I can see better how it's going. Yeah, so what I have right now is I have few images that I can export and I can upload to Lovable and say, I'm not going to give it any specific instructions. I'm just gonna tell, create them based on your uh, view. So whatever it wants to add them where, I'll let it do that. So I'm just gonna clip the contents and I'm gonna select these four images and just export it as PNGs, QWA. For some reason, it just exported two images. Not sure why. Yeah, let's kind of, Let's see how it did with the image here. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. If I wanted to include a video here, I would probably do that as well. So let me just, in the meantime, upload the images there. Yeah, so let's just upload all of those images to the uh, Lovable website and ask it to create it. So I'm gonna click it on edit and now I'm going to span, just going to remove that. For the cards in the second section, use the use the images I provided right now. Let's see how it does. We have here five cards and I uploaded four images. So let's see what it will do. For the numbers, I think that we can make the numbers a little bit larger for a better hierarchy. Because right now it's all kind of blends together. The spacing here is off. I think the section is too low. Also, one thing that I wanted to see is is this website mobile optimized? That's the most important thing that I want to check because it's one thing to just build something on the web and it's another thing to make it responsive, uh, just um, something that would work great on mobile. And that's something that I wanted to test. First, let me just update the images and then I can see if this is actually mobile optimized. And let's actually ask it one more thing. Add some animation to the website maybe use frame frame motion or what's it called frame motion or framer motion not totally sure let me just google it uh framer motion yeah maybe it's framer motion let's just ask it to do that it added four images the images are a bit too large and uh, they're too blurry for some reasons but that's something that I can edit, I guess, here. So I'll just try to click advanced and resize. Cannot edit it. For some reasons, I cannot edit it. Yeah, let's just try to edit it somehow, somewhere, some else. But I think maybe what I can do is just give you, give it an example of how the card should look like. So something like this. Resize, I can say resize the card and make them look like in this image. So there are structured well and one card is larger, one card is lower, smaller. So it, because right now, as you can see here, it, the cards, which is very, the image is very sm small, but the card is very big. So I'm going to try to 
I'll add some animations to the website using the existing Tailwind CSS animation. A tail is rather than introducing frame in motion as a dependency. This keeps things simpler while adding nice visual effects. It's going to use some Tailwind CSS animations. I'm not sure what it is and how it's going to work, but we'll see. But first, I'm going to also try to upload the image for the next prompt and say add in the second section create cards to look like this one some cards should be smaller and some cards should be bigger and it introduced an error to website let me just see logs I don't know what it is and let me just try to fix it I modified the feature section to create a layout with different card sizes like in your reference image so it's going to do that and hopefully it's going to fix the website but what I can do is try to publish it and preview it on my on a smaller device to see how it looks like on the phone just to make it smaller in my Chrome browser yeah Let's just publish it and see if it's going to open because we had some error in Lovable. Easy Web Lovable World Global App. So we have everything here. We have even some slider that I'll need to update. But yeah, let's click inspect and see on, mob on mobile. And yes, it looks great on mobile devices. Even the cards looks way much better on mobile devices than on desktop. So I think if you were using your site as mo uh, mobile first website, I think it did a pretty good job. It optimized everything perfectly for mobile. So I think it's ready to launch on mobile. The menu work, the menu is pretty cool as well. I think it's pretty basic for Tailwind, um, but yeah, it looks good. Nonetheless, everything is built as I wanted. I can change the text, I can change the elements. So if I wanted to come up with a website within a day or something, I would definitely use Lovable. But if I wanted to build like a CMS website or something more complex, something with more animations, with more pages, I would definitely want to go for, uh, for something more complex. Okay, let's refresh it one more time and see how it... It's just recreated the cards. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, happily, we can just restore the older version and uh, but yeah, it, it just likes to do the work. I mean, it's also recreated this card, so should be more specific when designed. So it's definitely not perfect, but it's not that far from. I believe the framer will definitely int introduce something like this to their system. Webflow will follow up and we will have way more different system for web design, way different system to building websites or any products for this matter, just with using your prompts or even voice, you can speak directly to it and build something great that will look great. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more AI related videos, uh, let me know in the comments.